I'd like to describe the beginning of creation in terms of spherical cleavage, which is the one becoming the two, becoming the four, becoming the eight. So what I'd like to show is how we get to the egg of life, which is the eight original cells. And we're going to show how it's derived from the six around the one, the seed of life pattern. So just to, to set this story, in the beginning, we were one sphere. This is the father, mother come together. And the one decided to make a duplicate of itself, to observe its own creation. So that became the two. And then the two became the four. So this was, so these four vertices of a tetrahedron are the centers of four spheres. So that's the transparent view, or you could say you look like a pyramid. So this is quite a like, an astounding revelation, like what you mean I was actually a, a pyramid in the first origins of my life. And the word origin comes from Ori. The Ori is the light, the original. And then the four become the, became the eight. So when we look at the eight original cells, this is the atomic structure of a crystal called silicon dioxide or quartz. And you can see it's essentially cubic in nature. And this keeps going on and on to 1632, keeps doubling up to 512, where we become a torus. And a torus, as you know, is a fourth dimensional sphere. And it, it just, it, we evolved into this shape, which had a mouth down here, a mouth and an anus. And out of this, it grew into a, the embryo and who we are today. So this is the evolution of life, the creation. And as a geometry, we can express that as, as the six around the one. But the, the, the original question, the inquiry says, Jane, you just described that the, the mitotic division is a journey from the one to the two, to the four, to the eight, to the 16, which is a doubling sequence. What does that have to do with the number six? So I'm going to show you a bit of an illusion how the six around the one actually, um, the six around the one actually shows the eight original cells. So what I'll do to start off with is I'm going to, um, I'm just going to, I'm using this as my circle creator. So I put that in the middle and I'll do all this in yellow here. So there's the, there's the yellow. So that's one circle. Now to get the next step, we need, you, you could use a protractor to show you how I got these six lines at 60 degrees. This is what creates a snowflake. You use a protractor of 360 and you line, put the center there, line it up. And at every 60 degree, um, at every 60 degree, you mark a point and then I've extrapolated those lines. So now I've got like a grid. So that allows me to say, I'm gonna draw six circles that touch the center point. There's my center point. So I need to make sure that this circle here is touches the center and then the next one is over here. And as you, what you can see is that as we do it, we keep creating these kind of petals. So see this petal, I've just created a petal in there, but I'm going to create six of them. So here's my third circle. So it's a bit of a process. We're going to draw 13 circles. And the fourth circle touches the center point here. I'll just draw these six. I won't draw the other six. The fifth circle that touches the center point is here. And, this, and the last circle to touch the center is over here. You've got to have a steady hand. So basically what I've done by drawing six circles that tangent the center, I've created, I might even highlight it just so you can see I'll highlight that in blue. You see these beautiful six petals in here? This is the most common shape in the universe. Everyone in the world, every culture in the world, are doodling those six petaled flower, this rosette. It's in the mass consciousness. So this is why the six around the one, even though it's a cubic hexagon snowflake structure, it's the most famous shape in the universe because the radius from here to the circumference, that distance there, if this is one, I, I don't change my radius all the way around, so the circle remains unchanged. So the six is about perfection of order. The six fit perfectly into the circle. And then I had to draw another six. So you can see I drew another six around, touching the original circle. I went one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the composition of 13 circles. It's not actually the fruit of life. The fruit of life is when we get to this point here. 
The fruit of life is when we have the original circle in the middle, and then we've got another one there, another one there, another one here, another one there. See, they, these, there's five in a row there, then there's five circles here, and there's five circles there. They're obeying the same three axes that I've drawn here. The three axes are like X, Y, Z, actually forms a cube. So cubic consciousness is based on X, Y, Z axis. X, Y, and the vertical is the Z. So those three axes are in here. So in a way, we could say that the fruit of life, this is almost the fruit of life if we separated the circles into a five, five, five code. There's one, two, three, four, five there, five here and five there. And another way of showing it would be this one here. That's just another version of it. So the fruit of life creates all the platonic solids. But what we've done is we've actually created the seed of life. So what we had the one circle and then we put six, six all touching the center and then another six on the outside. Now we're ready to create the egg of life. So this is the illusion part where the, the six creates the eight original cells. And to do that, I need to really, um, to do that, I'm actually going to show you what we're drawing just so that you can see that um, what you see here is what I've drawn on the board. So that's our grid. That's our grid, six circles added to the seed of life. And it's going to create this illusion of the eight. So what I'll do, just for your reference, I'm going to have it just hanging up here. And you can see that as an artist, if I'm copying something, I need to draw the central circle. So let's choose a red, a red chalk. There's my center circle, so I'll just highlight that. So we're creating the eight original cells are the cells that will never change. They're like your stem cells. The stem cells are very potent healers. They're the original cells full of light, has all your genetic blueprint. It will never change, never die. So that, and the eight original cells, the egg of life, still exist at the base of our spine. Sometimes when people have a slip and they land on their coccyx, they have a kundalini awakening because the, the memory of all your past lives, your future lives, your ancient futures is all in this eight egg of life, the eight. But magically, we're going to create it from the six around the one. So I've done my first circle. Now there is a bit of a shortcut. I'm going to look at these, just to show you the shortcut. I, I could just draw it in a row, six circles going around, but there's different arcs. So here I notice that th these three in a triangle actually are bigger, are more of a bigger circumference than the other three. So if, if I put my finger here, I'm going to draw this one here, which means it touches here and it touches there. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to put that over here. So we get a good circle and just watch what I do. There's one. And you've got to keep a steady hand because you can't touch anything else. So I've drawn this one here. Now I'm going to draw these two. I'm actually going to draw three in a triangular array. You'll see why I'm doing this. Just so that it's symmetrical. The next one, I skip this one. I'm going to draw this one, but I'm not going to draw that little petal here. So I put my circle, my template here, and I keep it really still. And now I just go, and then I just go around nice and strong. That's the one, two, we put the, the third triangle point is over here. So we do the same again. We put that here, push, push in for a bit of strength. I don't draw this petal, but I draw everything else. Okay, I'm hoping that stands out for you. And now we've got three more to do. The ones that we haven't done here, if you look at this one here, this arc that I'm going to draw here is a bit shorter than the big one I just drew now. So these are all large arcs. The ones that I draw now, I'm going to draw the three in a triangle, but these actually have smaller arcs, and you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to draw from, from here to there. That's it. And I'm going to do the same over here. Um, yep, the same over here. You can see it's just a shorter arc over here 
and there's just one more to do and that will complete the illusion of the eight so just look now you've got we just need one more circle here and it should pop out and appear as a cube so we put that there put the chalk in my left hand because I'm ambidextrous and I'm going to draw from here to there I'm going to keep it strong and then you say voila there it is let's stand back we'll just have a look and appreciate do these look like eight original cells does this if you could I know it's at a tilt but if you could look at it what you're looking at there does it look like um, a cube and there's a certain way of tilting the cube so it actually looks like the Star of David um, if I wanted to draw the um, there is a way of drawing the cube octahedron so here we've got a star in the middle you can see a star in the middle and if I actually wanted to draw the 12 around the 1 which is this shape here there is a, a certain tilt angle so there's a star of David and I can see that if I draw 1 two, three, four, five. See how there's a hexagon around there? Because when I hold this, it's all hexagonal structures. So just quickly, with a few little V shapes. One V there, a V there, a V there, a V here, and another one there, and the last one there. Just with a bit of straight line. If you look at the center point there now, you'll see that we've created the cube octahedron which is the 12 around the one. So that's the beauty of this egg of life. It's a symbol of creation. And we have evolved out of this magical matrix of spherical conglomerates that make all the five platonic solids. So we call it the eight original cells.